As the weather turns colder, many people are heading indoors for their workouts. And although the gym can be a great place to get your daily exercise, there is a risk of injury associated with those cardio and weight machines and, of course, germs lurking in that locker room. So joining us now with ways to avoid unnecessary injury and illness at the gym is Dr. Krista Archer, a foot specialist and podiatric surgeon. Dr. Archer, Archer thank you so much for being here with us today. Let's talk a little bit about the kind of injuries you see. The foot injuries you see when people move from their outdoor activities to their indoor activities. Right, so unfortunately the, the weather's colder, turning colder, and the days are much shorter. Mm -hmm. So people are logging more hours at the gym simply because it's getting dark and they can't do their outdoor activities. So treadmill and elliptical machines are becoming more popular now. Right. And people just going at the same movement the same pace for 30 plus minutes causes problems, overuse injuries in the feet and ankles. Do you so, see like tendon issues? Yeah, so for okay. example, treadmill, if you're doing an incline, let's say you have the treadmill at like three or four and you're really trying to go up that right. hill inside, the, the tendons on the, the front of your ankle are working harder in the same motion for 30 to 40 minutes and the overuse injury is tendonitis. Oh no. And then the elliptical machine, if you can imagine doing that and your foot is the ball of your foot's on the and that, that pedal for 30, 40 minutes, there's n nerve damage happens, neuritis, okay. which is the inflammation of the nerves. And a lot of people say, I, f I feel my feet getting numb oh, after I'm on the ellipticizer for a while. So what can people do to uh, avoid those injuries? So what I tell patients is to switch up the machines. Mm -hmm. Don't spend the whole 40 minutes on one machine. You know, maybe do 10 minutes on one machine, 20 minutes on one machine, and then do stretching and then go back. Take a class one day, work out with a trainer another day. Right. Um, and on the weekends, if you can, when it's still light out, do, do runners do get frustrated? They're used to running like five miles outside and they can't do the same thing on the yeah, treadmill. Yeah, because so, it's so boring mm -hmm. to be on the treadmill yeah. for, <laughs> for 45 minutes. <laughs> I find running boring, period, but that's just me. <laughs> and so what other, what other dangers are lurking at the gym? We hear about germs. Yeah. Where are these so germs? So if you're at the gym and you think about that sweaty person before you, dripping sweat, and oh. how effectively did they wipe down the machine, it kind of can gross you out. Yes. There was a study out of the University of Arizona that showed that 28% of gym surfaces are contaminated with body fluids. Ooh. I would argue that it's probably higher, but I don't want to do that kind of study. So anyway, let's say it's 28%. Right. What you want to do is disinfect the machine you're about to get on with a wipe that's at the gym. You know, mm -hmm. they now all gyms have those sani wipes mm -hmm. or a, a disinfecting wipe, not just a, like a towel, but something that has a different disinfectant in it okay. and clean down the handles and the surfaces that you're going to be touching. Right. Also, there is, you know, fungus and wart virus on the floors of the locker rooms. Oh, gross. You know, these, these so, things harbor, harbor in moist, envir warm environments. So if you're taking a shower, for instance, you should never go in without those Oh my God, blocks, never, right? ever, ever go barefoot. I tell my patients all the time, just get a simple $2 pair of flip-flops right. you can throw away to wear from you know, changing to the shower, in the shower and back. That is so scary, isn't it? Yeah. Now, what about those sort of typical, I mean, now people are putting on their boots to walk around more. Do you just see those typical sort of warts and blisters pop up more in the winter? Well, now because, you know, because of the, gy the gym viruses right. that people are picking up, you know, and they're, they're, they have their feet enclosed, they're not looking. So the problems usually are, are more progressed when they come to me. So mm -hmm. the warts bigger, the nail fungus is worse, the athlete's foot is worse. So you want to, you know, Take a couple precautions right. at the gym. As we said, wipe down the surfaces with a disinfectant mm -hmm. wipe before and after you use the machine. Never touch your eyes or your mouth while you're working out. Use the, the Purell or the disinfectant for your hands when you're in the gym. Wear, wear flip-flops and bring your own water bottle. Because think about the water fountain that's there. People are pushing the the um, the lever, and it's they're they're germ ridden. Oh, good point. I never even thought about that. Yeah. They're sweaty hands pushing the yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then lastly, after you work out, you know, makes sense. You know, it's common mm -hmm. sense. But launder your sweaty clothes each time. Some people actually do uh, put Hang their clothes. Hang them in their locker and yeah. leave them there. Oh, yeah. that's awful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can buy some, some stuff over the counter um, to protect yourself. Is we that have what some, you Yeah, here? we have okay. some stuff here. It's uh, Dr. Scholl's Simple Over-the-Counter Remedies. There's a powder, a spray, and an insert. All have uh, bacteria and fungus fighting components in them. So and you it, would use these before you work out? Yeah. Well, okay. let's say, you, you know, you keep a spray in your, in your gym bag mm -hmm. and just spray your, your sneakers once a week. Right. Okay. 
oh, great the inside idea. of your sneakers. If your sweat, your feet do sweat a lot, then you could put the powder in your socks mm -hmm. before you work out. And then the um, inserts actually have a baking soda and an absorption quality to them that absorb sweat and help fight bacteria and fungus. These sound great. Now, is there any danger to the sweat itself? Will sweaty feet give you? Well, a sweaty feet blisters, harbors or? bacteria. Oh, okay. Sweat harbors bacteria. I see. And fungus loves mm -hmm. dark, warm, moist environments. Right. So having wet and hot feet is not, is not good. You want to keep them clean and dry. Clean and dry. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Dr. Krista Archer, thank you so much. Thank you.